put it in the rack and everything with it. All right, so I'm spraying here and I'm gonna leave this um, lime away, soap scum and hard water deposit stuff on there while I go do something else. And then I'm gonna come back. I don't want it to dry, but um, I am going to leave it set and soften the hard water. And then I'm gonna take a scrubby of some kind. Uh, I like to have my scrubby attached to my um, Mr. Clean sponge or white sponge or whatever, and just scrub out all those hard water. To, and then uh, get in here, get around these edges, use that scrubby side. Um, sometimes even the magic sponge side will uh, help. Now I sprayed along here. There was a bunch of hard water deposits around here. And then, sorry, I'm gonna get out this. Get it wet. Scrub that. Scrub around here. Get back there. And then when I get in here, there's a bunch of hard water stains in there. Okay. Nothing here. And then. Even that one more good scrub. Okay, and I'm gonna throw that over there. Let that sit. I can just hang out there while I take a rag and clean that up. If I have one. Okay. Okay. And you can just add some water. Get rid of all that acid spray. You don't want to leave it on there. So, I don't know. I think I could do that. You ever use a fountain that's really gross and dirty and you kind of wonder if the water that's coming out is clean? So, anyway. That's why it's nice to do this every month or so. to get a, uh, a dryer rag to dry that off with. And voila.